Hello and welcome to another episode of the Bucket List Project. And I actually went through some old um, archive footage that uh, I actually shot, uh, actually back in 2015, on a project on our deck. Now it was actually a threefold project where we were painting the deck, we were adding some new railings because uh, I wanted to go PVC or vinyl, and then we installed uh, a shade tree. Uh, retractable uh, system. I've just put this into one video. The only thing that's a little strange is I never did shoot any time how to put the shade trees up. So you're going to be able to see it taken down, but uh, nothing of it brought back up. So sit back and enjoy. Make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and turn on your post notifications. So we always enjoyed the deck out back, but with southern facing views, most of the summer you just actually couldn't sit out in the 90 degree sun. So we actually started by removing all of the railings. And because we wanted low maintenance and an easy build, PVC was really the answer. I needed the 4x4 post to be a little taller because we were going to put an arbor in. So I took and fused together 4x4 posts, notched and bolted. Then I started to tie the beams together by uh, 2x8s. And I wanted the structure to kind of have this arbor feel, but knowing that I was going to put in shade tree trusses in between. I doubled up the 2x8s to give a little bit more character. I didn't use PVC here just because of the cost. You can start to see the intricate cuts in the beams for additional character. After I had all these pieces up, I started on the railing that was actually vinyl all the way around. The results came out really clean. Later on, I'll show you how we put in beams for the canvas. But in the meantime, I had to contend with a three-year-old deck that was in need of help. I've taken and prepped the surface. We've already painted it once. And I've just gone back and tried to fill in any holes that I really thought needed to be. Sanded those down. And I didn't get everything, but I think this is a good, a good first pass. But after multiple coats of paint, uh, we achieved what we wanted. Now, six years later, it needs to be painted again. Actually, it needed it at five years, but I just didn't do it last year because of all the other projects. This is after the second application. Still see some area here that's a little wet. Uh, it's supposed to dry an entire 24 hours. But, you know, the more applications you put on, and I put quite a bit on there to kind of close those gaps up, but each application that'll close it up even more. I'm so far very pleased with the product. Um, I do believe you still need to put in quite a bit of coats to make it seal up everything, but happy so far. So Shade Tree actually had a little supply issue, but knowing that the canvas wasn't going to be there for a few months, they did send out all the hardware for the trusses. Everything was there and it was actually extremely easy to put these trusses up. The kit came with the truss ends and the mounting brackets that all they had to be was drilled in in three places and then screwed in. Because there was not a, a stud right where I needed one. I needed to actually extend a piece of wood over, sc screw it in here, and then um, was able to put that bracket on. As 
and with the help of my wife, we were able to get these up. She was able to hold the entire weight of this 10-foot beam that was made out of aluminum and vinyl. So to allow this to stop, there are these units that are applied and really it's just an Allen wrench that then allows you to then lock them down and then this tension will allow the, the actual awning to come in and clip in. This is your stopping point. I know this is a little backwards on how I'm showing, but I never did film how to put up the retractable awnings. I'm showing you now how to take them down and it's actually the same as just putting them up. Uh, there's really no difference. It only took about 15 minutes per panel. So I'll just take care of the other side. Want to get it so that it'll kind of slide. Fairly effortlessly. And as you can see down in here, there is no catch. So if I just lift that off, it'll just come off and you can just slide them off from there. Same thing coming back is you just put them back on. One of the things to always remember is if it starts sticking, you can see there's a little build up there. Definitely want to get back to put this up in the, in the, in the summer or the spring of next year. That'll have to be cleaned really well. Then from here, just taking down the unit or also putting it back up is just rolling each one of these rollers. Although the weather looks nice, it was at the end of fall and just so happened to have a really nice warm day that allowed me to go out and take down the awnings uh, in preparation for fall. Now the one thing that I always do is I'll roll these up, I'll take a cellophane wrap and I'll wrap the ends, but then I also put in a piece of white paper that really designates which panel it is, one through four, and also which direction that I put those in at. Because this area is this way, and because I can't take it off from here, what we're doing is we're taking it off at the front part. So the same kind of process that happened before. You know, you are talking about six months later putting those back up so you forget which one is where. Now I'll store these in, in a closet upstairs. I made mention that I'm going to store these in the attic. The temperature change is just too much and I'd rather have them stay a lot better uh, in a controlled environment. And even after six years, the canvas is just fine. Now I do have to replace some of the, the small plastic pieces just because they don't look as nice and some of them have broken, but still. Uh, they're inexpensive and I'll go ahead and order those for this season. Now this unit here is just a tad bit different in that as you can see it's pretty tied up up in here so what we're really gonna have to do is look at this by taking and moving this one here 
all the way to the other side. So that's pretty similar to what we did on the other one. But this is a vinyl beam here. And the other side, because it's our edge. Okay, that's pretty good. And because it's wood, the, the track, because it's wood, the track is aluminum. And this aluminum track doesn't move as well. So you're gonna have to kind of work, work the track back and forth to get to the other end. So make sure that you actually have this really far out so that there's no drag on either side and then each side each side really has to move about at the same time And then the other part about it is anytime you encounter screws on, on this side, you need to see how quick we can wedge that. So and that's really it of how you install and take down one of these units. Very, very simple. I think it'll be fun once we get back into next season. I know I want to touch up some painting areas on the beams, but other than that, um, I'm pretty happy with how the unit went up. Um, it's very simple to, once you've got the basics in, in place is that I mean, you can just take it put it up and take it down. So I'm gonna take and store these for the rest of the winter. Uh, I wanna find a box. I wish I would have kept the boxes and the plastic bags that everything came in, but hey, it's no longer there. So I'm gonna take and probably try to find at least wrapping it in plastic um, and putting it in a box up in the attic so it'll be ready for next season. So that's it.